Well, will season nine be a lucky one for the cast of Southern Charm? Between new loves, old flames, and friend betrayals, probably not, as no one is holding back. Take a look. Something happened with me and Taylor. What? Did you f Taylor or not? Madison. Did y'all ever hook Never. up or anything? I swear in my life. You cheated on me! You did! You did! Taylor's in Chef's room. What happened? Chef and Taylor banged. Last night? This kissing bandit last night. Between the two of y'all, the lies, it's unreal. Be the bigger man. I'm trying. You're the oldest guy in the room. Grow up. Oh, and Chef and Olivia join me now. <laughs> Welcome. Good to see you. Hi. Thank you. Okay, and I'm well, now well, shell shocked uh, well, from watching well that. Yeah. yeah, I'm listening <laughs> right off the bat. You're the oldest guy in the room. When are you going to grow up, Chef? <laughs> I mean, oh. that was kind of mean, don't you think? Uh, well, you know, for for a long time, it was Thomas and Whitney. I mean, uh, we're like the elder statesmen, but <laughs> yeah. he's not wrong. I am the oldest guy in the room. I don't well, feel old, let's, though. I don't either. Let's call it the OG. You're yeah. the old OG of the room. I'm, I'm, I'm maturing at a glacial pace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Olivia, this is just your second season. Did you go into this season any differently, having had a little bit of experience behind you? I mean, comparing the two seasons is a night and day difference, but I think... Good or bad? A little bit of both. It was trickier because I'm going into the season when my friendships and relationships are a little bit more developed. Yeah. So I knew that would be a little trickier to navigate, but um, I learned a lot. And, uh, I mean, season one was a cakewalk compared to this season. Well, yeah, I imagine, because you're <laughs> not really in the thick of it yet. But, yeah. um, Shep, it seems like the most of the drama of this season is around this Taylor Austin hookup. I mean, did you guys lean on each other during this time? Did I mean, how did you manage that? We did a little bit, I would say. Um, I'm in the unfamiliar territory of having the moral high ground. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm trying to like be as magnanimous as I possibly can because um the one thing I I would never do is wag my finger at, because we're all very fallible people at the end of the day. Yes, nobody's perfect. That's very true. And it'll always come back to you on a reality show. Oh yeah. Day. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just my, my comeuppance are on the way at some point. Yeah. She was talking about, you know, previous seasons, like they're all a different organism. They're crazy. And yeah. you, you can become the hero and the villain quite easily. Uh, between one episode to the next. That's correct. Um, but Olivia, you have a little new romance going on with the newcomer Rod. I mean, did you have any hesitation? hesitation kind of exploring a new relationship th after what had happened or I mean, um, are you just saying that this is just the name of the game with a reality show? Yeah, I definitely knew what I signed up for in the name of the game. It was... <laughs> he went in for the kiss. <laughs> yeah. sure did. I mean, he that's sure bold. <laughs> that was... I got through the whole first season without kissing on camera. And then first <laughs> date and second season, I was like, we're doing this. Wait, so how is that to watch back? <laughs> I mean, I was sinking in the couch. Yeah, I was watching with my course. parents, too. My dad was this far away from the TV, just like... Oh, yeah, that's rough. <laughs> yeah, but no, it was fun, and I didn't really want to let any of the things happening outside of Rod and I affect that. He's such a great guy. He's so cool, and um, it was kind of all happening at the same time. Yeah. So it was oh, helpful well, having another person to talk to glad about that's it. that's a positive experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Shep, another positive experience. You got out of South Carolina. You went to uh, <laughs> Alaska. Very yeah. positive experience. Yeah. yeah, so tell me, what was that like? Um, it was amazing. I was with my uh, little brother, my my dad, and my best friend, and his dad, and my uncle. And um, we would fly a float plane to a different river every day, and then awesome. and then we'd catch big old fish and some rainbow trout and char, and um, then we would catch salmon, and the guides would cook the salmon on the side of the river with potato hash. Oh, it's the freshest salmon in the world, God, right? I love salmon. I, now I want. I, that no, salmon. see, I can't eat it anymore now. Like He's in a restaurant, it. forget oh, it. No, so I'm not tired of it. Forever. I've had the best. Yeah, yeah. you're ruined so, forever. Yeah. That's too bad. Well, we have to go back to Alaska. I'm going back and to people Alaska. I want you to actually put it on camera and maybe have a travel. I would show love school. that. I would love that. Well, yes. we'll we'll talk about it next okay. time you come. <laughs> All right. Well, you can catch the new season of Southern Charm Thursdays at 9 p.m. on Bravo, and stream the next day on Peacock. Thank you so much, guys. Thank Thanks you for having us.